Hi everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the Tuesday Tips. Today's mug is San Francisco, home of Stacey Morgenstern. Cheers to Stacey Morgenstern and to all of you lovely people in San Francisco. Grab a mug, sit back, and let's rejoin the Geek Fest that we started last week on pricing. Oh, what a topic. So to recap, we talked about pricing as a strategy decision that's based on two things. One, where you are in your phases of business growth, and two, what offer comes next. So are you ready? Because I'm going to get even more specific today about pricing. I want to give you examples of what pricing looks like and then simple pricing strategies for each phase of business growth. Coo, coo. So for example, Let's say you're just starting out in level one of your business. So perhaps you don't have a ton of programs to offer or you just have one, that's cool. If you've taken our core training, you have two fast income programs. You have a 28 day jump start and a 90 day intensive. So your cash flow cascade, let's just assume you have those programs or you have two. Your cash flow cascade will look like this. Perhaps your client starts with you in your jump start and then they move into your 90 day intensive. Download the checklist below so you can follow along with me. There's some uh, stuff in black and white there. So if you're a visual person and you want to see what does this look like, the checklist is there for you. So in phase one of your business growth, the cash flow cascade looks like maybe they start in their, your jumpstart, they move into your 90-day intensive, maybe they renew the 90-day intensive, or maybe they start in the 90-day intensive, they move into the jumpstart, and then they go back into the 90-day intensive, People keep wanting to have experiences with you. And again, I'll get into actual pricing in one moment. But for now, let's look at another example. Let's say you're in level two, or excuse me, phase two of your business growth, which means you're offering, let's say, a group detox online in addition to your private coaching. That means uh, when you go into phase two, you start increasing your private coaching fees to high-end platinum style fees. So for those of you coaches in phase two, your goal is to be a platinum coach only when you're working privately with clients. So your cash flow cascade might look like this in phase two of your business growth. Maybe your client starts with you in your detox and then they move into the 90 day intensive and then they move into working with you in the platinum style program and then maybe they move back to the 90 day intensive. Um, now when you're in phase two, you're working with a lot more groups. So your detox is a group. Your 90 day intensive could be a group as well. It doesn't have to be. Even your platinum programs can be a group. They don't have to be. Everything can still be one-on-one -on -one except the detox part. Uh, another example of the cash flow cascade is that you'd have your platinum style program. That maybe your client moves into uh, Jumpstart with you and does your detox. Then maybe they go into your 90-day intensive and then maybe they go back into your platinum style program. Now, a reminder for those of you who are like, and how the hell am I, what am I doing with people in all these programs? So a couple things I want to remind you of. One, when you have transformational coaching skills, you can coach your client on anything and everything, and you can pull them toward a greater vision for themselves than they see right now in every area of their life, regardless of how they came in to work with you. So if someone came to you to learn how to go gluten-free, by the time you're on your second platinum style program with that person, you're talking about creating the relationship of their dreams, the career of their dreams, the home of their dreams. I mean, you're going way beyond gluten-free because you have the coaching skills to do so. You start with gluten-free and the how-to, and then you move way beyond that. So just in case you're wondering, like, why would anyone go forward in all these programs with me? That's why. Also, one other thing is that we teach you in our core training, which is our business and marketing training, that when you create programs, you don't just create a program, you create an experience. And that every program, whether it's a jumpstart, a 90-day intensive, a VIP day, a platinum style program, that each one is a separate experience with a separate result. That way your client is going, ooh, I want to try that experience. Ooh, I want to get that result. And they want to keep moving through the experiences with you. Okay, so let's look at some specific pricing to go with these examples, shall we? I think we shall. I think we shall. All right, let's look at that. So back to our phase one coach. She's got two programs. She's got a jump start. She's got a 90 day intensive. Let's talk pricing strategy for phase one first. Phase one is not about making a million dollars a client. You're just starting out. The purpose of phase one is to build your confidence. More than anything, you need confidence. And to do that, 
You'll need to consistently work with clients and be paid for the work. So the strategic purpose of pricing in phase one, really the strategic purpose of phase one in general, is to attract ideal clients, to close the deal successfully, and to coach with confidence. I'll just tell you right here and now in this video that those three skills, attracting ideal clients, closing the deal, and coaching the client once you have them with confidence, if you master those three skills, you will always work as a coach. You will have recession-proofed your career. You will have a career helping people making great money for life. If you learned nothing else but those three skills and mastered them, that is the key that unlocks the success uh, to your career as a coach. I don't know how many times I say that, but I'll tell you that it is such a few number of people who will actually do it. But those that do are the ones that you're looking at, you're seeing their websites, you're like, oh, I want to, I want to be like them. That's what they learned. That's what they learned. <laughs> so you're going to learn that too. Okay, I'm getting off my soapbox and back to pricing. So the strategic purpose of phase one is to attract ideal clients, close the deal, coach with confidence. So let's give an example of pricing for phase one. And let's use the 90-day intensive as an example. Now, we never recommend talking to clients about charging by the hour. You don't want your client comparing like, oh, she charges X number of dollars per hour. You don't even want their mind there. You want your client absolutely taken by the experience you're about to provide in your program and about the result that they're going to get. You don't even want them thinking about money. So, but for you, the business owner, you do need to know that you're being paid for your time because a really common mistake for lots of coaches actually is to put way more time into the client than you're actually billing for or charging for. So if in a 90 day intensive, let's say you're doing a half hour coaching session every week, you may do it differently. Maybe you do an hour every other week. For this example, let's talk about a half hour every week. So that would be a total of six hours of coaching time for that client. Now let's assume, uh, now if you're in core, we just give you a 90 day intensive. There's very little prep or follow up that you have to do, but let's assume that you have some prep and follow up. Let's be conservative and say that outside of the six hours of coaching time, you're going to have four hours of preparation and follow up. So that would be a total of 10 hours that you would be serving your client in the 90 day intensive. And let's say you'd like to make $100 an hour. So if you multiply $100 times 10 hours, you have a $1,000 fee. Now here's the thing. When you're first starting out, if you're in phase one, if you go, oh, oh, $1,000, that's terrible. I'm never going to make $100,000 doing that. It'll take me X amount of hours or X number of clients. Don't do that math. Because when you're first starting out, remember, the point is to attract ideal clients, close the deal, and then coach those clients with confidence. You're going to build your confidence as a coach, you're going to build your success stories, and then you're going to raise your fees significantly. So you can get to the point where if you want to make $100,000 a year, you have 10 people paying you $10,000, or two people, or five people paying you $20,000. You can charge high-end fees in every niche. Don't tell me you can't do it in health and wellness. I'll show you lots of examples that you can. So. I don't want you to calculate your chances of having a really lucrative career on phase one fees. Does that make sense? Just give yourself the knowing that when you're first starting out, you have to start at a fee that you can stand behind. It's not the fee you're ultimately going to charge. Do I charge the same fees now that I did eight years ago when I started as a coach? Oh, hell no. No, I don't. I don't even private coach anymore. So, just so you know, that that's not something to base, like uh, calculating whether or not you're going to have a wonderful career on that. Don't make this mistake. Let's go on to the phase two pricing example. Okay, phase two, if you recall, is our coach who has an online detox. That's her jump start. And then she has a 90-day intensive. And then she has a high-end platinum program. So she has three program offerings. So for pricing... The strategy is a little different here. The idea is that when you have an online detox or an online jumpstart, you want it to be a low price. This is not a situation where it's like, I need to charge my value, I need to charge what I'm worth. No, actually what you're doing is sort of filling your pool of prospective people to move into the offers that are coming 
after the detox. So remember when I talked about pricing as a strategy, uh, strategy decision, we talked about it's a strategy decision based on the phase of business that you're in, and it's a strategy decision based on what offer is coming next. So if your online detox is a low price point, then more people will say yes, and that fills your funnel or your pool or your sort of group of prospective clients to move into your 90-day intensive and to move into your high-end platinum program. That online jumpstart, the strategy is just to make it an easy yes so people can make that first investment with you, work with you, get to know you, and want more. So you may not be making the majority of your money from the online detox itself. The money might be coming from the offers that come after the 90-day intensive, the private platinum program. So what would sample prices be? And again, I believe this is on your checklist. The online detox would be anywhere from $97 to $297. Now, here's the thing. There will be people who will offer stuff for like $14 or $7. Or uh, I can, in some circumstances, I can see that. But as a phase two coach, I feel that under $97 is just too low. That you want people to pay an investment that is respectable and draws the client that is willing to pay more than $14. Now, if you're an internet marketing guru and there's a whole other conversation going on when you start to get into phases four and five of your business and you have a very um, specific internet marketing funnel. But for phase two, keep your jump start from that anywhere between $97 and $297. Now, some of you in health and wellness might have products that you're offering along with the jump start, in which case you have to figure in, well, how much are the products and what can my pricing be in that case? I have had a client who she was extremely successful with her detoxes and they were $497 and she included all kinds of products. So if you have really cool product stuff that you want to include and the pricing just doesn't work to stay under $297, then just stay under $500 and that'll do ya. Okay, then sample pricing for your 90-day intensive. It's significantly different experience than the Jumpstart and the pricing should reflect that. So you want the pricing to be anywhere from around $1497 on the low end up to like a $2497. Now, the 90-day intensive is not a high-end platinum program in this example. If the 90-day intensive was your high-end platinum program, which you can do, a, a, a platinum program does not mean more time. It means a higher-end, more luxurious experience. That doesn't mean it takes more time. Something important for all of us to learn. But in this example, I wanted to show you how the online jumpstart would funnel into the 90-day intensive and how the pricing is really significantly different. And then funneling into your high-end program, that should be around $49.97. Could be $39.97 for those of you who are going, how can I ever charge $5,000? It's a great question. And so I would, what I would ask you is, first of all, if you know nothing about how to create a high-end program, clearly you're going to be like, you are high and stop. Stop drinking funny juice out of your San Francisco mug. <laughs> I can't charge $5,000 for a program. I get why you would feel that way. I didn't think that was true either until I learned that, in fact, it is. Now, remember, high-end programs are only for 20% of your list. They are not for the other 80%. But for the 20% who want a high-end experience, they're super excited about a platinum program. Now, a platinum program has to be plat It has to be expensive. It has to be luxurious. Or, or it's not fulfilling the promise of the program. So the question that you want to ask for yourself is, what has to be true for me to charge that amount? Now, this is a phase two of your business growth example. So if you're in phase one of your business going, I can never charge $5,000, you're scaring me. <laughs> what has to be true for you is, you have to complete and set a foundation in phase one. Then you can think about what happens in phase two. So this is not even applicable to you if you're in phase one. So no, no panicking. If you're in phase two and you're going, how the hell could I ever charge that amount of money? What has to be true for you is probably just learning the ins and outs of how to do it um, and how to create a platinum program. The other thing that's extremely important with platinum programs, you need to be a client of one. You need to be in one and experience it for yourself. And then when you turn around and create one for other people, it's a lot easier that way. You feel like you're in integrity, like, hey, I invested in this. 
it was worth it for me, it's going to be worth it for you. Okay, so you can see back quickly to the pricing structures that the each program has a path of ascension, a different pricing, significantly different, and then as you're creating those programs, you would make sure that you each program has a different result, provides a different experience, and then your client moves from one program to the other. Okay, so I've shared a lot of information. I'm curious, what has resonated for you? What are you thinking about these pricing examples? What do you think about the pricing strategy for phase one versus the pricing strategy for phase two? Are you in phase three? Are you in phase four? Talk to me below, leave a comment. I'm there personally to talk with you because I'm curious what is resonating for you, what is a highing, and what is freaking you out. All right, I will see you next week for the next video tip. Bye, everybody.